are talking about Kanye West, Britney Spears, International Ice Cream Day, and more. Welcome to the new Ibblebit show where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy newsworthy stories of the day. Let's get going. Kanye West, who announced his intent to run for president July 4th, gave a tearful speech at a political campaign rally on Sunday in South Carolina. First, West made a controversial statement that Harriet Tubman, one of the most influential African-American figures of the 19th century, did not actually free slaves, but handed slaves over to other white slave owners. He then declared his strong personal opinions against abortion, stating he wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for his mom standing up to his dad's demands for an abortion. Kanye wants to still keep Keep abortions legal but has come up with a solution called maximum increase which would mean everybody who gets pregnant gets around a million dollars this is all talk though Wes is still far away from being a legitimate candidate and it still needs 10,000 signatures to appear on South Carolina's ballot November 3rd Protests in Portland, Oregon are getting pretty wild now that protesters have been looting for more than 50 consecutive days, reaching gatherings of more than 1,000 people over this past weekend. Some protesters have exhibited lawless behavior such as shooting fireworks and pointing lasers at police officers. However, protesters are not the only ones engaging in violent behavior. Christopher David, who is a former Navy officer, stumbled upon a video of unmarked guys in camouflage abducting people and putting them in a minivan. David, who was not an active protester, Tester, then asked a federal officer why they were violating their oath to the Constitution and was beaten with a baton and doused with pepper spray following the question. Oregon's Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum has taken the first step to end the violent behavior by filing a lawsuit to halt some of the detainment tactics used by federal officers. Hashtag Free Britney has become a trending conspiracy regarding Britney Spears being trapped by her legal guardianship contract controlled by her father. The contract entails that Britney's father, Jamie Spears, handles all finances and decision making. Even Britney's mother, Lynn Spears, recently filed new legal documents asking to receive all legal matters pertaining Britney's income and assets. Thousands of fans have protested their concern of the 90s pop star's mental health amidst her worrisome dance videos on Instagram. Instagram. A petition has even been signed by over 184,000 people aiming to get Britney her own lawyer. Thanks to former President Ronald Reagan glorifying the American tradition of eating ice cream in 1984, National Ice Cream Day just passed on Sunday. All right, let's get to some fun facts. 90% of Americans eat ice cream and help create an ice cream industry that generates $3.5 billion in annual sales. In a survey across 2,000 Americans, 40% have eaten an entire pint of ice cream in a sitting. 30% would eat ice cream at every meal if they could. Mint, chocolate chip, cookies and cream, and chocolate topped the charts for favorite flavors. You craving ice cream yet? Baskin Robbins, Cold Stone, and even Whole Foods is offering discounts on their ice cream throughout the majority of July. KFC is creating the world's first ever laboratory-produced chicken nuggets by partnering with 3D bioprinting solutions. The plan is to develop bioprinting tech that will actually print out chicken meat using chicken cells and plant material. KFC is taking this route because bioprinting chicken nuggets will be more environmentally healthy as 3D bioprinting has been widely recognized in medicine and allows for reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and energy consumption. KFC's bioprinting nugget will be available for final testing in Moscow this fall. GM plans to launch its first all-electric pickup truck late 2021, known as the Chevrolet BET truck, which will offer 400 plus miles of range on a single charge. The American car giant says it's changing the chemistry behind its battery cells to reduce the amount of cobalt they use and make them more cost efficient. The new pickup truck will join the upcoming Hummer EV alongside 20 other electric vehicles GM plans to release by 2023 as it takes on Tesla's Cybertruck and Ford's electric F-150 and the electric car market. Market. Thank you so much for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into some new interests, be current, and start trends. Thank you so much for tuning into Ibble Bits, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.